what up, what up? Okay, this is part two of how to make an origami owl. Previously. This is what we got so far, and now bye. That was the previous. Oh yeah. I'm injured that a lot now. Okay, so this is what we have previously. And now I'm gonna do back. Okay, the next thing you gotta do is turn the entire model over. So it's like that. And then you gotta basically wanna do the exact same thing you did before. Okay. So you know, hold in these two sides like this. I'll do it just here so you can see. Alright, you hold this one in like this. You wanna crease it well. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. And crease it well. Okay. And then fold this down. Crease it. And then open both things back up. And now this part I have to do down here. Like I said, work out. Okay. I'll do it right here so you can see that. And so you do. Hold on. Okay, sorry. You lift this first flap up, and then you push it back so it kind of, um, it kind of forms the shape of a diamond. And it should be like this. Hold on. Mine's a little crooked. Okay, there we go. So then it should be like a shape of a diamond. And there's two bottoms, of course. And then on the back. Yep. Okay, and then swing this part. Hopefully you should, you should probably get this part. You want to take the this part and just fold it forwards. Oops. We've got to make sure that doesn't happen. You need to fold it forwards. Do that. And then you want to fold the back one forwards too. So you have a diamond, but smaller, like this. Okay. This part may be a little tricky because it might get a little thicker, I think. No, actually. Never mind. Okay. Then, oh, this is hard for me. Okay. Next. Oh, sorry, this is the keyboard. Oh, it's gonna fall. Okay. Next, you wanna fold these two things down. Basically like this. Increase it. And both sides. So it's like that. Okay. And then you wanna flip the model over. Again. And then do the same thing. I'm oh, sorry. I'll do it up here this time, so just so you know if you missed that. Alright, so you have that. And now we're going to bring out the weight. This this is probably going to be a tricky, because this is still tricky for me. Okay, so you want to do like this, and you want to pull this part out right here. And you're going to want to kind of bend it and twist it. So it goes like this. And... Well, I'm going to try that again. Alright, sorry. I'm really bad at this part. And then, you're going to want to go like that. You're going to want to bend it up, and then you want to kind of bend it like that. So, it goes like this. I'm sorry if it's a little confusing. It's really confusing for me, even though I never really know exactly what to do. And you want to so have that. And then, I hope you saw that well, because we're going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Because you don't want to have one wing. Unless you want it to be like a psycho. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm my mom. Okay. Dan, you want to do the same thing on this side. Okay. This. Alright. There we go. Okay, that's what it should look like on both sides. Okay. Alright, so here you go. So what you got so far. And now we're going to make the beak. Ugh. You don't want to bend this down. This part down like this. And then... Oh, hold on. And then you're going to want to fold this down. It's probably going to get thick, so you might have to use your finger fingernail. Eh. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. So it's like... This. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another part three. Okay, so I'll see you in part three.